Right, I think we're on the city limit, seven and a half to Ellesmere Port. Three quarters of a mile into Chester, we've got our first Roman. So we're going to call this bridge Roger. <laughs> Roger the Roman. Roger the Roman. Roger that well known Roman. I was going to say we'll just call this bridge the uh, start of Chester. Well, the start of the Ellesmere Port leg. Leg? Yeah. It's okay so far, just sort of green and. Definitely more my sort of area now. We're outside of the city. Yeah. Nice the city as Chester is. Just don't like I don't like towns and cities. No. Not it's really up to a towny, are you? No. Some nice dragonflies down here. I know they're more hens, by the way, but uh, there are nice dragonflies down here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, I think we've got a penny wart uh, blockage. Are we just going to ram it? Uh, I think plan one is ram it and then just see, like see what happens. So I am going to speed up. I'll give you the camera, dear. Okay. okay. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, no, no. It's, it's, we need to be careful. It's got sucked under, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. Go away. Go away. Yeah, but it's still with us. Mm. I'm still trying to work out if your strategy was a good one or not. I'm not sure yet. We're going down. Oh. We're going down the weed hatch, hey? We're going down the weed hatch. Feels all good, me. Right, so as is often the case, you solve one problem, you collect another. So we, uh, this is what's just come out of the weed hatch. Look at all that. It's come off the prop. Floating pennywort. Good. So that's good. Bad news is. We're stuck now on a load of garbage. So just gonna see if we can get off. Soon find out. That's, that's sort of good. It's good Josh's spree. It's less good that I'm on the bank, but Sure, there'll be a spot before. You shut the front. Not from here, no. How long do you think my legs are? Sorry, no, how how long, long do you think my legs are? <laughs> I've got eight foot legs. Stuck on the back. Okay. 
Oh, you can hear it all. Can hear it grinding. The problem is the front just sucks in, the water pressure's pulls the front where you said this is what we had at um, Skipton. Right, do you want to take this and give me the pole? They see you rolling, they hate it. <laughs> Just gonna walk to Ellesmere Port. Good exercise. Oh, now then, Sue's just pointed this bad boy out. Oh, that's tempting. Right, it's gonna attempt to pick her up under this uh, rather gorgeous railway bridge. There should be, uh, should be a bit deeper under here, hopefully. Famous last words. See if it works. Danger military training area. Mm. Try not get shot. Just come upon the uh, workers here. You see all the penny walk that they've scooped out and lobbed over there onto the other end. The sort of trapping his dinghy thing. He's got a scooper on, scooping it up and just throwing it on the on the bank. Oh, stacks of it. In the yeah. You've got a job on. Yeah. Oh, hello! Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that coming out. She's having fun in there. <laughs> Look at it all. I'd be scared that was going to tip me up. We thought we uh, might have left the weedy bits behind, but uh, I don't think we have. There's loads of that penny water again up here. I mean, as long as we can find a path through, it's not too bad. It's when it's in the middle of the canal and you can't avoid it. You can't even put, you can't even push it off if I sat at the front and pushed it, because as oh. the boat goes, it just gets sucked round anyway. It's quite oh, that's nice. People put bird feeders out on the. Uh, my own one, because they haven't put any food in it. That's all we need to do. Look at it all. Look at this little dude. It's tiny. It's not like a storage area then, it just doesn't even go that, does it? It's got no... It's like, powered. It's got no go gear on it. Oh, no go gear! <laughs> oh my word. Go gear. Technical. Yeah, you get more technical. You get ever more technical, dear. No go just, gear. Just when you, just when you think it's not possible. Yeah, this this one's been that, swamped. That'll say something stupid. That's got no. Uh, yeah, that's not going anywhere either. Is it? Not for a while. <laughs> There's no exit there. This weed's nice, isn't it? It's not bad. Actually. It's lovely. I knew could do something with it. I knew. Yeah. <laughs> Sit like this for a while. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's lovely. Fabulous. What a lovely setting as well. The garden. That's magnificent. Nice, nice, nice. Right, we've got double motorway edge. This is us going under the M53, and then very shortly after, the M56. I can probably see it in the background. There's a message. <laughs> Uh, so this blob was right, right across the bridge. I'm just shoving it out of the way. What a size of that thing. So heavy. It is. Try to lift it out of the canal. <laughs> Look at that, I don't know if that comes, but that is across the entire canal and it's massive. There's going to be some weight in there, right? Jeez. Oh, look at that lot. Chap um, on the towpath had just been walking back down towards us and he said, there's a lot, it's right across the canal, up by the sewage works, which is just off to our starboard side. You'll have to push it out of the way but it's just so heavy this stuff as well. See we're sort of collecting it as we go. And I'll be very useful to the operation by sitting here filming it. He was to a point and then he just sort of felt like he was stopping, he felt like that's it's just so heavy. Yeah. But I don't know how else we do it. No, I'm sort of wondering that myself, like how do you yeah. we go again, attempt number two. So whilst this all looks very nice and serene from the bow of the boat, I can confirm to you that uh, from the stern, it's very much not. There's lots of different steering angles being put in. We've also got forwards and backwards being uh, toggled between. Part of the problem is that as the bow of the boat hits the penny warp, some of it goes left and right of the boat, only to be collected around the prop, and some of it goes under. You can't see the, uh, the weed that's gone under the boat, which obviously is uh, heading towards your propeller. 
and then as you pass the stuff it curls around the back of the boat and tries to go back under again onto the propeller so you're constantly fighting with it. It does look nice from the front though doesn't it? to do any prop clearing now. Let's go under bridge 140A. We're here having round two on the penny walk. Sorry, I've dashed the front so I can try and film it in time. He's back with his uh, ram it and hope for the best strategy. So we'll, uh, we'll see. Nowhere near as bad as the, uh, the other one, but still, he's going to ram it and then put it in, put it in neutral before we uh, suck it all in the prop, I think. Oh. It's a three. The stretch has taken is a lot longer than than we thought. We thought we'd be moored up by sort of 3.30 for the latest by the um, National Waterways Museum. But it's now 20 past four. I think we've still got another mile and a bit to go. Obviously we don't know what the weed situation's like up here either, so. doing a bit of uh, revving in reverse to clear the prop by the sounds of me. <laughs> Can see what he's up to. Just Josh and I just uh, joshing around. That was a big wall of stuff. Yeah, not quite at the level of that last one, but still. You could feel actually there was a point where um, where uh, he sort of rode up on the uh, on the on the weeds, and then just the pure weight and denseness of what he was pushing against. Because the engine revs just went, mm. and if you if you well, this isn't like a fail-safe thing. I just popped him in neutral the second that happens. There's no point in in fighting that. I'd just let the momentum drain away, and then you just like like try and go through it in neutral. Anyway, it worked. <laughs> well done, Joshy boy. <laughs>
have arrived. The museum. The wind here. And more up over there, just in the back of the Go on, that looks old. Oh, we didn't have a good day tomorrow. You like old things, I like don't you? I'd say I like old things. <laughs> this looks cool. This looks very cool. It's a smart set up here. Mm, it's really good. I think these things are a bit eerie when they're uh, they're closed, aren't yeah. they? What times are they? Like five or ten? Yeah, ten to five. So. And I've spotted a cafe and a shop, so I'm sorted. <laughs> oh, little sneaky peek of what we're gonna see. Right, well here we are. I suspect we're gonna have two differences of opinion on this morning spot, aren't we? Uh, I suspect you're going to say it's a bit too urban, too many people, not in the countryside. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. It's it's all right, though, I think. It's a bit busy for my liking, but yeah, the sort of cars, and I don't. I mean, they can't be related to the museum because the museum's closed and there's people walking around and whatever else. But oh my gosh, yeah, look at that weed that you saw. Yeah. But this just feels super cool. I don't not nice. wouldn't normally fancy the road, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, it's just different. It's different to what we do, isn't it? And like there's historic boats and old chimneys and fabulous old buildings and just yeah, niceness and loveliness. So. No, I think this is. I think I think this is a cool boring yeah. spot. Good. There are some casualties. Um, uh -huh. The litter picker dead. Um, I need to go down the weed hatch after uh, just to see what pennywort's still there. What we're going to do is we're going to take a wander over that away because there's somewhere called Stanlow Island. Is it like Fantasy Island? Do you remember Fantasy Island? No, but it's almost identical, I can just tell. <laughs> Was that where the little dude ran? The planes, the planes. That one, that's Fantasy Island, I think. What was it? See, educating him. Yeah, it was really good. Well, it was good at the time. It'd probably be shocking if I watched it now, but <laughs> <laughs> as these things often are. I feel like you can get over there. Oh, no, we can't get to it. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, no, no. Oh, I thought we were going well, to an actual island. Oh, right. Oh, it's a big ship there. Du, du, du. <laughs> This strip of land in front of us is quite thin here, but it thickens out as you get further down there. It's called Stanlow Island, and it used to house... Sorry, which bit Stanlow, which is the island? The strip in between the river and here, yeah. and the Manchester Ship Canal. Yeah, exactly right. And it gets thicker and thicker as you uh, as you go down, and there's a, there's a port there. And it's now part of the SR, if that's how you pronounce it, E-double-S-A-R oil refinery and so you can't go there anymore they, they, i mean they don't want all that those just stop oil people uh running yeah but we won't do that would we no well, that's fair enough and that's how they uh, that's how they judge it um but ba <laughs> but back in the day back in the day there was a there was a, um, an abbey there so the monks uh, used to chill out there do whatever monks used to do probably not a great deal and right they do a lot of praying well, there you go. Um, so that abbey's now fallen to ruin, nature's taken it back, but it was, there was also, and this is really cool, there was also a police base, so the Manchester Ship Canal Police uh, had a police station there, and there were four houses. So on that island, basically had the police. And four houses? Four houses, which... What did they need police for? For the ship canal stop nefarious things going on oh. and there was a port so ships used to come along you had a 24-hour ferry 
um, to get on to there, and that was that. And then, so the kids that were on there, there's some really interesting stories, which I'll probably voice over about the kids that used to live there, I think until about the, like, the 1970s, something like that. I bet that was a bit clicky there. Clicky? Yeah, Yeah, well, you wouldn't be wanting incomers, would you? Well, you wouldn't get any. Well, yeah, because why would you want to go? <laughs> well, you just couldn't. I mean, why, yeah, why, why would you? I mean, you'd have to have reason to be there, which would be to be a some sort of ship worker or something like that. So there's some really interesting stories about the kids and they used to have to come across over um, uh, onto the mainland every day to go to school, all that sort of stuff. And how that led to quite a uh, an isolated lifestyle and how one of the kids was saying, well, my, my grandma bought me a bicycle so that after school I could go and see her instead of going straight on the... Uh, on the ferry back over so the ferry still runs there is a ferry it's it's not very pretty hopefully i'll post up a picture of it now basically to get people from the mainland on to um uh to, to where the oil refinery right and what's even more exciting Go. it's even more exciting than all this shenanigans with islands and stuff is just on the other side is yeah. liverpool john lennon airport so i'm going to be getting out my flight yeah. tracker <laughs> app. Although there aren't many planes, are there? Well, not, not, not right this second, no, but... There he is, there's Joshy boy. It does feel a bit weird. Yeah. <laughs> so all these cars coming up here are going to see Josh. It does feel odd. RS4, that's in a rare colour that actually, you need to, uh, that's a special colour. Is that Corvette Stingray? Not quite sure. It's very V80. We've got the uh, Dub Street uh, gang. Not going to miss that are you? Look at that. Now then, I won't lie, I like that. That's an Audi 80 from 1991. Yeah, that is a cool, cool car. It needs a bit of TLC, does that one? That is a smart car. <laughs> Look at the scale of that. That is cool. Oh my gosh, all oh, right, so that's a tug. Pulling, um, pulling a ship. Look at the size of the ship. Oh my gosh. Sten Pontos. Oh my word, look at the bridge. It is a bit like that one we saw. We were uh, going across the. Um, we didn't go across yet, we didn't really get out because we got stopped because the ship was coming down. Get out of the way, car. <laughs> Put it in the canal, but don't lob it at you. Well, I don't, well, don't put it in the canal, no. That'd be nice if you didn't. Just look around Birmingham. There's, there's a lot of stretches of water where you can, you know, you, you can cruise all day and not come across a lot. If you go through like the, the Birmingham uh, level or the Wolverhampton level, you know, you can cruise all day and come across a lot. Oh, how cool. No, series one landing. Oh, I wish I had the camera on a bit sooner. Mm -hmm. 